Good morning, Jake. This is Taylor at Perkins Motorplex here in Paducah, Kentucky. A little bit of an overcast, breezy day here as we are close to the river and uh, may have some rain coming in, much needed rain. Uh, but anyway, this is the uh, video that we discussed that I was going to put together this morning for you. Um, this is the 13 Ram. It does have around 194,000 miles on it. And it is a 13 Ram with 194,000 miles on it. There are some uh, things I'm going to point out to you, but things that are expected um, on a truck of this age and, and mileage. Uh, first, I'm going to start on the uh, exterior. We'll take a look at the interior, and then I will pop the hood, fire up the truck, let you listen to it, and then do the best I can to get you a view of the undercarriage or underneath the, the truck to look at the frame uh, because there uh, is rust on the rockers which we did disclose on the website uh, but as far as what's on the frame we'll take a look under there together uh, with this video i'm going to start here on the front driver's side and then work our way around i do have the hood pop that way it's a little easier for me to, to open that up when the time comes i do have a small little dent here in the front bumper the hood does have several chips in the paint it's like there's some bubbling there of the paint there on the front some more, uh, more chips there in the paint headlights are clear they're not foggy so that's good uh, rubber's good all the way around uh, shouldn't have to worry about uh, putting tires on the truck anytime soon okay moving on down the driver's side if it's showing up here in the video but right here looks like the, uh, there's some damage here to the to the body of the driver's side bed uh, kind of close to the rear driver tire it's like a little scratch there I uh, got a scratch here as well some little bitty chips in the paint along the bed of the truck again I mean things that are expected on a on a 13 Ram with 194,000 miles. Um, some little uh, scuffs here on the tailgate. I don't see any big damage here. It looks like that's some leftover wax that didn't get rubbed off. Moving on down the passenger side. Here on the rear passenger door you have a scratch and a ding uh, you also have a little bit of a crease here on the rear passenger door a little bit of a chip in the paint on the front uh, passenger door a good look at the passenger side uh, again the the headlight is clear as well on the passenger side uh, the truck has not been smoked in it is fairly clean on the inside uh, head curtain pretty clean carpets all the way around of course it has the floor mats in it but they are clean underneath so they didn't dirty up the interior of uh, the dash looks pretty good console not much wear on it rear passenger door so look at the rear seats Pretty clean. Look underneath. Looks like there might have been some speakers in the back here. Looks like maybe some wires run under there. <clears throat> maybe a little bit of a threading issue here, a little fray. Ah, nothing to be concerned about. It is there. driver's side door looks pretty good no big scuffs in the vinyl or anything maybe a little little one right there passenger seat and we'll take a look at the driver's side door looks good driver's seat looks pretty good I uh, do have a little bit of the stitching coming apart there but I mean that's normal wear 
Um, driver getting in and out of the truck constantly, of course. Okay, let me run across here. I'm gonna pop the hood, then I'm gonna fire it up, let you listen to it. AC blows very cold. Got your radio. It's like an aftermarket radio there. 194,339 miles. Both windows roll down in the front. Both windows roll down in the rear. Let's see if that back sliding glass works. Okay, well that works as well. So that's good. Okay, if you have any questions uh, more about the truck, then uh, of course give me a shout. And uh, look forward to hearing back from you after you view the video and uh, see if we can get this thing sitting down to Murfreesboro for you. Thanks.